Hello guys, Softoni here, welcome to another video tutorial, first like always I want to thank you for watching this video lesson, uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel hit that subscribe button, also turn on the bell icon so you can always get notified whenever I post a new clip. And in this uh, video lesson we're going to create this really beautiful uh, photo slideshow, uh, let's see what we can do today. All right, here we are in After Effects and first what we're going to do like always is to create a new composition. Uh, hit this little icon here to create a new composition or Ctrl plus N on your keyboard. And for this uh, first composition we will rename it Media 01 with 650, height 650, duration 15 seconds long and for frame rate 30 uh, frames per second. Hit OK. Also, we will create another composition, also uh, 600 by 650 by 650. We will rename it Image Plus Elements 01 and then hit OK. And then we will also create third composition and we will rename it Slideshow. And for this, we will do uh, 9020 by 1080, duration maybe around 30 seconds and for frame rate also 30 frames per second. Okay, uh, next thing what we're gonna do is to uh, add elements here in uh, Image Plus uh, Elements 01 and go right click and then create a new solid layer. Also 650 by 650 and we will rename it Photo Frame. Hit OK on your keyboard and then uh, import this uh, type here in effects and preset fill and drag and drop here in our photo frame. If you can't find this effects and preset, go uh, window and then hit here, check this effects and preset panel. All right, for this uh, color, we will do white color and then hit Q on your keyboard or go here to grab this rectangle tool and we will draw a mask like this. All right, now it's time to invert this mask, hit this uh, photo frame, go here mask and then invert this and we already uh, have something uh, like a photo frame. If you want to adjust this frame, hit here and then hit V on your keyboard, double click on this mask, move it down a bit or up until you're satisfied with your photo frame. All right, uh, next thing what we're gonna do is to import uh, our media here in our uh, Image Plus Elements 01, drag and drop your media 01, and now it's time to import footage or uh, media placeholder here in our media 01. Double click here, I already have here a um, few media uh, images from pexels.com, just drag and drop this footage. Scale it down, hit S if you need, like this, maybe around 15, OK, readjust it, drag and drop left or right according to your needs. And when we go back here in our final, we can see this uh, really cool media 01, maybe around here, and now it's looking really cool. All right, uh, next step is to uh, import a little bit of shadow, hit drop shadow here in effects and preset, drag and drop to our photo frame. For distance, maybe around eight, softness around 20, something like this, okay. Hit control plus D to duplicate this uh, drop shadow and we will change direction to minus 135. 135 to get a really cool shadows from left also on the right side. All right, also we can uh, import uh, another one, just control plus D and we will readjust it until we see also here to see this really cool shadow. All right, now it's time also to go here in our uh, slideshow composition and we will import here our uh, media. 
also i have here in background folder uh one um, media one image from pexels.com i will uh, leave a link in description so you can download it also just drag and drop here in our slideshow you can pre-compose it if you want but uh, i will just do scale for now because this is large media scale it a bit maybe around 40 and uh, readjust this uh, media hit v and then move it to the left until we can see this coffee beans okay also it's time to uh, add a little bit contrast on this image go in effects and preset and type curves okay drop and drag and drop to our media and draw a curve like this now it's looking really cool all right uh, next step is to import uh, our image plus elements here in our slideshow final composition just drag and drop this uh, image plus elements and as you can see we already have this really cool footage one thing we we have forgotten to import is uh, our text here in our image plus elements 01 so go here and then uh, control plus t to type uh, text i will do maybe around scale it down for text size um, for this font rage italic and i will type softoni motion okay and then also go to effects and preset and type fill drag and drop to our text layer until you uh, see this uh, red color hit v and readjust here in our image plus elements 01 composition for the color you can choose maybe black color double click also hit this to turn off this uh, bold one and maybe to play around here also with size like this okay next thing what we're gonna do double click and then uh, effects and preset hit drop shadow drag and drop to our soft only motion and for uh, softness go around 10. of course if you want a bigger shadow you can move it here or something like this but i will do 5 and 10 it looks fine to me and when we're back back here in our final composition we're getting this uh, really cool uh, looking uh, photo frame all right now it's time to animate this uh, first image plus uh, elements 01 composition hit p on your keyboard for position uh, click on this stopwatch to uh, set a first keyframe uh, move this keyframe to maybe around uh, one second and also hit here toggle switches and modes to find this uh, 3d option turn on this 3d option and for position hit a v on your keyboard and, and move it around here now when we hit zero we have a basic animation also it's time to uh, uh, rotate this media go around one seconds one second hit r on your keyboard and we will ro uh, rotate this uh, set rotation hit uh, uh, this keyframe here on one second go to zero seconds and do maybe around 250 uh, 240 double click uh, double w on your keyboard to see our keyframes uh, grab this set rotation and then hit f9 and for this position also grab this uh, first one hit uh, shift f9 hit uh, control shift f9 and then go to around this uh, uh, second keyframe and then hit shift uh, f9 okay also go around here in the middle of those two keyframes and set another keyframe for this position and hit v on your keyboard and you can also readjust your media move it around here now when we hit zero on our timeline we're getting this really cool animation all right we can also move this uh, first keyframe for position maybe around here for z go around minus 1000 and 
when we now hit zero, we're getting this really, really creative, cool animation. All right, now it's time to add another media here in our uh, final composition. And uh, we will duplicate this image plus plus uh, elements 01. We will create the second one composition. And also for this media 01, we will also duplicate control plus D here and hold Alt on your keyboard and drag this media 02 on this media 01. And now we will import our other uh, media here in our media 02. Just drag and drop here and then I will delete this first media. I will hit S to scale down this image to get a really cool looking media. And now also uh, what we're gonna do is to duplicate this uh, first image plus elements 01 and move it around uh, one second. Also grab this image plus elements 02, also hold Alt on your keyboard and then drag and drop here in our uh, image plus elements 01. Now we have uh, those two uh, different medias, different images. Also, now we will readjust it, hit W to show all uh, of our keyframes. And then for the first position, uh, hit V, move it around here. Also, uh, hit K on your keyboard, J and K to jump on the first or second or third keyframe. For this uh, second one, maybe around, grab around here, something like this. And also for this uh, third keyframe, move it around here. And also for this set rotation around minus 11. Now when we hit zero, we're getting this really cool, really awesome animation. Also, now it's time to change this Optone Motion text for this image plus element. So to double click here and then for this tutorial purpose, I will uh, hit just random text like photo slide show. And then, of course, you will import your own text. Hit V on your keyboard if you want to readjust it, something like this. And when we go here in our finals, uh, as you can see, we have this photo uh, slideshow uh, second text. All right, uh, next thing what we're gonna do is to uh, also repeat the process. Uh, we will duplicate this image plus elements 02. Also, we will duplicate, duplicate this media uh, 02. Uh, go inside here media 03 composition, delete this one and drag and drop your third uh, footage. Your third media, I will scale it until I'm satisfied with this media around here. And when I go here, I will uh, here in our timeline duplicate this image plus elements 02, move it to around two seconds. And also for this image plus, plus elements, hold Alt on your keyboard and, and drag and drop, drag and drop here onto this image plus elements 02. Also go here, hold this media 02, and then also hold Alt on your keyboard, just drag and drop this media 03 to uh, this media 02, and now we have something like this. Also, we will change our text. Beautiful slides. Also readjust it, hit V on your keyboard like this. And now we have a really cool also animation here in our timeline. Now it's time to readjust this image plus elements 03, hit W on your keyboard uh, to show all of our keyframes. Go uh, on top of this uh, first keyframe for position. Just grab this one and unzoom it and move it around here. Also hit uh, K on your keyboard and for this second keyframe uh, grab it, right click and then go keyframe interpolation and change it to linear. Hit OK and then for this second keyframe move it around something like this around here. And also hit K on your keyboard to readjust and reposition this third image 
around here and also for set rotation go around maybe 11. Now when we hit zero in our timeline we have a cool animation like this. Also uh, we need to readjust we have a little drop here and go for position for this uh, third keyframe and move it maybe around minus uh, 150. Now when we hit zero we have this really cool animation. Also one thing I forgotten to mention is to enable this uh, motion blur for those images for those composition hit here here and here and also for your uh, next image plus elements and also enable this motion blur to get a really smooth animation uh, like this really cool all right now it's time to make this scene even better looking go here in our timeline right click and then create a new adjustment layer hit enter and rename it vignette and also go here to effects and presets and type cc vignette drag and drop here on our timeline and you can play around with those numbers for this amount i will do maybe around 240 and angle of view you can also play around until until you're satisfied but i will leave you i will leave it here on 45 percent and uh, as you can see our scene uh, is looking really cool now all right uh, guys you can continue duplicating this image plus elements composition also adding more medias to our scene i have shown you this really cool and awesome technique to make this uh, to create this slideshow to also uh, you can import your friends family from your girlf girlfriend or bro boyfriend valentine's image and so on uh, everything depends on you and if you like this video hit that like button also hit that subscribe button to my channel if you haven't subscribed and uh, also take a look on my profile profile on my channel for even more great tutorials for even more great projects and until next time stay creative and bye bye